morning. This is Russ and Kitty Walden with Father's Heart Ministry, and this is the Daily Prophetic Word. You can subscribe to the Daily Prophetic Word in your inbox by going to propheticnow.com and clicking on the subscribe link. Now, pray this with me. Jesus is Lord over my spirit, my soul, and my body. Say that again. Jesus is Lord over my spirit, my soul, and my body. When you speak the word, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, life and death are in the power of the tongue, and those that indulge it shall eat the fruit thereof. Say this with me. Affirm this over yourself. Wash yourself with the water of the word. Jesus is made unto me wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Let's do one more. The Lord is my shepherd. I do not want. My God supplies all my need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. That's who you are. That's who he is on the inside of you. Be a person who proactively washes yourself your soul, your mind, with the water of the word. There's the narrative of the world that drops into your life on a continual basis. Learn to interrupt that narrative, the narrative that does not originate in the cross. Learn to interrupt that and inject the narrative of faith, the narrative of the word of God that begins to shape what happens next in your life. The Father says today, this is your coming out time. I am bringing you out of the house of Nabal and into the house of the king. I am transitioning you out of the house of the fool and into the house of David. The sure mercies of David are your portion today. Even as David of old showed mercy to Abigail when she was captive in a broken relationship to a foolish man, even so I am moving to extinguish the folly of men in your life to bring you to the wisdom of the just. Are you ready to move? Are you ready for a rapid shift? You are now moving with God's speed acceleration into a, na a, na a new season. All things become new, says the Father, so don't look back. Don't look back to what was but a step into the new, for therein lies your provision. Put your hand to the plow. And thrust your faith forward like a plowshare into the fallow ground of your faith. There is acreage in your heart that has lain neglected for many seasons that I am now breaking down the fences and calling you to do some plowing and planting. The foolish man says in his heart, there is a line in the streets, I cannot go out. But I say to you, shake yourself out of lethargy and become kingdom conscious, where you have been once problem conscious. Put your attention on me. For you are, says the Father, where your attention takes you. Your hope is anchored behind the veil, where there is no account taken of the Tao averages or the instability of nations. I am promoting you in the midst of chaos to a new place of freshness and bounty, for that is the portion of all of those who are betrothed to me. So go out in your day today and be who God says that you are. Go out in your day today and let this mind be in you. Discern the body of Christ. Discern what's on the inside of you and act that out. Live that out throughout your day because you, that Satan is not the principality and the power, you are the principality and the power. What Adam forfeited in the Garden of Eden, Jesus took back in the Garden of Gethsemane. And that is your portion, that is your entitlement, and that is your heritage. Be sure and visit us at propheticnow.com where you'll find many resources for building you up, edifying you, bringing you comfort, launching you. You can request a prophetic word from one of our team. We're now receiving prophetic requests for the coming year. You can ask for a pastoral call. If you need someone, you just need a pastor to talk to. That's available there as well. Prophetic counseling. Maybe you want to get on a plane and come down and spend the weekend with Kitty and I for a prophetic mentoring weekend. Uh, we have many that have been taking advantage of that uh, to their great benefit and their great blessing. 
Have a great day.